Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to teach you how to bake a cheesecake. This is the most delicious and creamy cheesecake and is honestly pretty easy to make. If you're intimidated by baking cheesecake, don't be. As long as you know a couple important things, you'll be just fine. Here are five important things to know about making cheesecake. Number one, it takes patience. Baking cheesecake takes a long time. And be aware that unless you're starting early in the morning and serving it in the evening, you might wanna make it a day ahead. You want to mix the batter with care, bake it for an hour, cool it for an hour, and then set it up in the fridge for at least four hours. Two, use all room temperature ingredients. This helps things emulsify easier without creating lumps in the batter. So be sure to set out the cream cheese, sour cream, and eggs a little bit before you plan to get started with your cheesecake. Three, mix the batter slowly and pay attention. Do not just throw in all of your ingredients and mix them together. If you do that or add in some of the ingredients too quickly, you'll end up with a lumpy batter. You want to add almost every ingredient in one at a time and mix it slowly until it's creamy before moving on to the next ingredient. You also want to stop and scrape down your bowl a lot during the process to keep things smooth. Four, bake your cheesecake in a water bath. This will provide slow and even baking with moist heat to keep your cheesecake smooth and creamy. The water helps it bake evenly so that you don't get brown spots, cracks, inconsistent texture, or dropping in the center of the cheesecake. And if you didn't know, cheesecake is not a cake at all. It's actually a custard, which means it needs to be baked gently and slowly to keep it consistent and moist. <laughs> Speaking of moist, five is don't bake your cheesecake too long. Nobody likes a dry cheesecake, so don't bake it until it's golden on top or until you think the whole thing's set up. You want to bake it just until the edges are set up and the middle still wiggles just a little, like jello. All right, keeping those five important things in mind, let's get started on our cheesecake. If you'd like to download a PDF copy of this recipe, just click on the link down in the description box. And here are some basic baking supplies you'll want to have. A sheet tray, a spring form pan, I'm using a 10 inch, some aluminum foil, a large pitcher to fill up your water bath, a spatula, and a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. You can also use a hand mixer if that's all you have. And then to get started, you will first preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And while that's warming up, you're going to prepare the crust. Start by measuring five tablespoons of butter and melting that in the microwave. I always use power level three because it helps melt it more evenly and prevents it from splattering all over. Save the rest of the stick of butter to use to coat your pan. Now crush 12 whole graham crackers. You can use a food processor or just a good old fashioned plastic bag and rolling pin. Next, prepare your spring form pan by coating the bottom with your leftover stick of butter. Then grab two pieces of aluminum foil and lay them across each other on the counter. Place your pan on top and gently fold them up and around the top edge of the pan. Be super careful not to rip any of the foil because this is what will protect your cheesecake from getting water in it during the water bath. At the top edge, fold the foil over and then back again so it isn't hanging too far into the pan. You can run your hands along all the edges one more time carefully to make sure everything is sealed and tight. Grab the graham crackers and melted butter and put them in a bowl together. I like to use gloves here to keep my hands clean. Toss those together until completely combined.
When you take a handful and squeeze it together, it should hold its shape before it falls. If it doesn't, you can add a bit of water or more butter until it reaches this consistency. Now, just press the crust down in an even layer on the bottom of your pan with your hands or you can use a flat glass. Bake the crust for about 8 to 10 minutes until it starts to brown around the edges. While your crust bakes and cools, you can measure out the following ingredients. Two pounds of full fat cream cheese at room temperature. And this always confuses me because I'm used to butter coming in pounds. So two pounds of cream cheese is four eight ounce blocks. One cup of sugar, one tablespoon cornstarch and one eighth teaspoon salt. You can put these together in a mini bowl one half cup sour cream, two teaspoons lemon juice, one teaspoon vanilla, three large eggs, and one egg yolk. First, mix all the cream cheese on medium-low speed for a minute to soften it up a bit. With the mixer running, sprinkle in the sugar and mix until the cream cheese and sugar are really creamy and smooth. Add in the cornstarch and salt. As you continue mixing, go ahead and add the sour cream in a little bit at a time. Now add in the lemon and vanilla. Last, you will add the eggs one at a time and mix each one until it is completely combined into the batter. To finish, wipe down your bowl one more time and mix a final time. Make sure the crust pan is cool to the touch and pour your filling into it right on top of the crust. I like to smooth the top with a bowl scraper. Then place the springform pan on top of a sheet tray in the oven that is still heated to 350 degrees. Quickly, but carefully, add water into the sheet pan until it's nearly to the top. I added about five cups of water here. Bake for 50 to 60 minutes. You'll know the cheesecake is done when the outer couple of inches are slightly puffy and set up, but the middle still jiggles a little bit. Once your cheesecake gets to that stage, turn off your oven and leave the oven door cracked open and allow the cheesecake to sit inside to cool for one hour. After one hour, you can grab your cheesecake from its little bath. Carefully run a knife around the edge of the pan and put the cheesecake in the fridge to cool for at least four hours to finish setting up.
Once the cheesecake is fully set up, you can carefully pop open the springform ring, slice the cheesecake, and serve it with some fruit sauce and fresh berries. Today I'm going to serve mine with some cubed strawberries, homemade blueberry sauce, and lemon chantilly cream. Check out the video above for an easy blueberry fruit sauce recipe. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. It helps me out a lot. If you'd like a PDF version of this recipe, just click the link in the description box down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. And if you'd like to see something else that sweet, just go ahead and click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.